Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Page. Today we're going to be talking about the idea of being a plotter, a pantser, or a planter in the way that you write. And if you've been around um, authors much, you've probably heard those words thrown around. You may not know what they are though. Mm -hmm. um, a plotter, you want to tell us what a plotter is? A plotter is somebody who has to have everything planned out, like in an outline. A lot of times they'll even do like their characters' backstories, mm -hmm. um, details of the um, area where it's set, things like that. They have to have it all figured out before they can write any of the story. Yeah. And I am not a plotter. <laughs> I'm not a plotter. <laughs> and a pantser is someone who kind of just jumps in and get started on the story. They have a character or they have an idea or they have a setting mm -hmm. and they just start writing and, and let the story develop as That's it's going to cool. develop. But then this idea of planter is relatively new. Would you like to tell us what a planter is? Yeah, basically it's just the in between both of them, you know. Um, you plot a little bit and you fly by the seat of your pants a little bit. And that's where I naturally <laughs> fall. Yeah. That's I, where I am. Yeah, I started off um, doing uh, the pantser, and that's why I never finished it because <laughs> <laughs> I just like I wasn't going anywhere. You know what I mean? Like I sit down yeah. and just let the muse take over, and sometimes it would be great, and sometimes I'd be like, "What am I doing here?" You know? Right. So, but I yeah, I have to say I was just gonna say I can't plot it all out, or I because it like takes all the creativity away from me, and I just can't. Do that, so I have to do a little bit of plotting, but then a little bit of, you know, panting, and then. So I don't know that it takes all of the um, creativity out of it for me, but like this was my outline-ish <laughs> for my Christmas story that I wrote last mm -hmm. year, and you probably can't see this, but I have arrows here and here and here and here because I would write an idea down for a scene. And then the more I wrote the story, the more I thought, oh no, I need this here, up here. So I'm gonna move this down here, and then I'm gonna move this up here. And I have my list of characters because I've discovered that I've written for so long now and used so many different characters' names that it's if I don't write thing. down what my characters' names are and maybe their age and their job and their eye color, I forget. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, halfway through the story and I have to go all the way back to one of the first chapters where I actually described that stuff mm -hmm. and find out, mm -hmm. oh, what was their last name? What was their eye color? Right. You know, mm -hmm. and so if I just have a list, mm -hmm. then I can I can go from there. So that's, when I started out, I was complete pantser, mm -hmm. completely. And then now that I've been doing it for a while, and because I don't always have time to just sit down and focus and write one story, but I have this idea for this other story over here and I don't want to lose those thoughts, I've just got this notebook and I, yeah. I jot it idea. down so that when I'm ready to write the story, it's there, but I've, I've still got leeway and wiggle room mm -hmm. to just write. Yeah. I think I'm still pretty much a pantser. I have some elements of, but it's like as they come to me. Mm -hmm. I, I, the main story itself, I completely just jump in and start with whatever idea and as I get information like you said I'll, I'll take the character and I'll go Susie Smith which is the most boring name ever but <laughs> Susie Smith I'm sorry if you're watching and your name is Susie Smith <laughs> We, I apologize for other yes, yes. I apologize too that's not what I meant but okay Susie Smith <laughs> Uh, is blonde and she has blue eyes. Well, I don't want to forget that, so I have my marker boards up on my wall and I'll write Susie Smith, blonde, blue eyes. Um, as her uh, occupation comes to me, I'll write that up. As the story develops, I start off without any plan at all, but as I'm writing, it's like, oh, this is where this is going to go, mm -hmm. and I'll write it down. So I'm not really plotting it. It's, it's plotting itself, but... I'm still writing it down mm -hmm. to keep track of it and yes, keep myself yeah. on track and to um, avoid as many times as possible of going back into the word search thing and going, 
blonde and see who's blonde and mm-hmm. you know, yeah. I've had yeah. to do that so many times because yeah. when you're writing a series and if you don't keep good notes oh mm-hmm. my gosh mm-hmm. it can be very difficult oh and those little tweaks in the timeline mm-hmm. that you, you're like oh no she yeah. probably couldn't have had a baby two months apart from the last one she had you know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I hope not poor wow. girl <laughs> So what kind of tools or elements do you guys use when you're plotting? Like, do you have anything that helps you? I know Amy said she uses a notebook, but... Yeah, I've got a notebook. And I use the whiteboard. I I do. I use the whiteboard as well. And Pinterest. Pinterest. I know that technically that's not necessarily plotting, but in a way it is. In a way it is, because you're organizing your thoughts. Yes, you're wanting to know the way people look. You're wanting Mm -hmm. to know the things that they're interested in. So you have this board full of... Um, visual inspiration for the Mm -hmm. story whether it's their job or where they're going or what they're doing or how they're feeling or what the town looks like yeah what the town looks like because with Mm -hmm. um with the Cleela Chronicles I started with the characters for that for that series and so what I did was I went to Pinterest and looked up different you know demons yeah well (laughs) no she has a really interesting search history (laughs) If you type in demons, you get some weird stuff, so don't do that. <laughs> um, but I typed in, like, warrior angels and that sort of thing and come up with some cool stuff and tweaked it. But, you know, I searched for, like, because, you know, Victor wears a long black coat throughout the books. And so, you know, I look for things like that and piece together a board mm-hmm. with all of what I thought my characters looked like. And for Matthias, it took me a while to find one. But as I was searching, I went that's him right there, you know? <laughs> and so it's fun, you uh-huh. know? It's it really neat. Fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I know a lot of people do random searches. I have to admit, most of my character ideas for what they look like, not what they act like, but what they look like, mm-hmm. come from somebody that I've seen in mm-hmm. movies or on TV yeah. or whatever, like um, the one I'm currently doing. I'm like, ooh, I need a really petite blonde. And I'm like, oh, that movie that I was watching the other day mm-hmm. has a really petite blonde yeah. that was really cute. and. I can totally see her being this character, and so that's where I um, draw mine from. You might not see a lot of mine anywhere other than Pinterest mm-hmm. with, with right. the actual vis- visual mm-hmm. representation because I don't know if yeah. that's allowed or not. Hi, right. random yeah. star, I took your picture and used <laughs> yeah. it. Yes, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but I, I tend to go towards. I know other people do generic searches for blondes. Well, mm-hmm. be careful putting those kind of things. Yes, into, yes. Um, be careful. yes. Careful, uh, um, uh, internet searches are, mm-hmm. are essential, um, but yeah. I, I do go it's, more yeah. specific on mine. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you do when you are at a point in your plot and you can't figure out what comes next? Do you have anything to help you through that? Chocolate. Chocolate? <laughs> Yes, <laughs> chocolate. <It's> magic. <laughs> I'll I'll take a break, mm-hmm. and I'll watch a movie that I love, one that I can like sit there on autopilot and not mm-hmm. have to think about the movie very much. You know what I mean? One that I just really love, and like, I know every all the words. That's just say you can quote. Yeah, you can quote it. it. I'll yeah. do that. Or you watch The Princess Bride. Don't you? Yes, yes, I love that movie. <laughs> Um, I'll watch that, you know, just, you know, something like that. Ever After is actually mm, one of my yeah. favorite mm-hmm. movies. Um, or I'll go, you know, somewhere to eat with a friend or, you know, somebody and sit down. I, I find that if I get away, my Are brain... Are you thinking about it while you're out eating with them? No, I just okay. let it percolate there sometimes. And I may plot with, like, I have a few mm-hmm. people who I like to plot mm-hmm. with, so I'll throw out some ideas. But sometimes, to be honest, I'll just sit down and I'm like, okay, what kind of danger can I put them in now? And that, like, where, how can I kick them in the shins again? Uh-huh. And that kind of helps me to move on. Like, sometimes I have to back them into a corner just to see what they'll do. Mm-hmm. I know that sounds really weird, but, no. you know, that kind of no, helps me. Considering some of the things I've done to my characters, that doesn't sound weird at all. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I Authors are mean. They <laughs> are. Because there's sometimes I feel like, we're sick people. how can I just keep being so mean to this yeah. character? Because at the time they get it right, bam, you know? Mm-hmm. But you kind of have to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, if you don't have the conflict, well, that was one of yeah. those things we did in an earlier uh-huh. video. Yeah. If you don't yeah. have the conflict, people, or it's contrived conflict, mm-hmm. yes. people aren't going to have it. Yeah. And uh, 
I'm currently in that place with not the conflict part, but uh, where to go mm-hmm. on the one that I'm doing. I've got a chapter written, and I know where I want to go. I know okay. where I'm ending up, but I'm like, okay, how, how do, do I, I get, get there? there? What's mm-hmm. the next logical step for this person? And finding that I'm having trouble going, okay, here's the next logical step. And so I put it down, and I just didn't write on it. And I think I talked myself through it probably while I was washing my hair or something, mm-hmm. you know, just, okay, talking out loud, please don't walk by my bathroom <laughs> at that point in time because you'll think I've completely lost my mind. But All the best ideas come in the shower. I don't know. Well, it's it's in the shower or while you're driving. Uh-huh. And you try to fall asleep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. The, you know, things, yes. places yes. that you can't really stop what you're doing. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I mean, you could stop going to sleep. but Wow, that would be dangerous. I <laughs> yeah, that I wouldn't suggest that. After that. <laughs> most, actually, the most of my plotting not. happens while I'm going to sleep because I need that downtime mm-hmm. where yeah, I'm not right off, thinking you know? about everything yeah. during the day anymore. Mm-hmm. And I'm not asleep yet, and mm-hmm. so I just let my imagination run mm-hmm. free. Have you ever found yourself keeping keeping you up when you do that? Like, rather than go to sleep, always. Ooh, I'm jazzed now about this idea. And I not keep really, sleep. because I've done this for so long, but sometimes it does give me really weird dreams. Uh huh, yeah, I had some. Because my characters sort of intermingle with all these other people that are already in my head from the past, and. I'm like, well, okay, now I know how that would happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. New yeah. book idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do you guys ever, have you ever thought about using, like, recording yourself talking, like, while you're driving or anything like that? You mean, like, like voice record mm. ideas or maybe dialogue or anything? I occasionally have asked Siri to take a note for me and, mm-hmm. and just real brief like mm-hmm. put him in the drugstore on second street or you uh-huh. know whatever it yeah. happens to be uh but to actually like narrate it, yeah. that book i have not i've not yeah i've talked to other authors like you know on facebook and stuff like that and they've said you know a few of them have said that that's what they do and i'm just like I don't know. I feel really weird. <laughs> do you know that? why they can do that? Is because they don't have two small children in yes. that seat, <laughs> like I do. Because yeah. if I tried to do that, yeah. Yeah. it would have all of my stuff plus. But plus, it would have whatever my kids are screaming on the yeah. back. And so when you I downloaded it to Word, it would be very confusing. Yeah, no, I don't need to save those memories. <laughs> That's funny. All of a sudden, the job of editor becomes a lot harder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Be like, you remember what that that compliment I gave you last time? Let's just scratch that. <laughs> <I'm> just <kidding. laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> and I have heard, uh, I read it in an article that one of the ways to kind of get your juices flowing again is to stop and take a walk, mm-hmm. not just meander, mm-hmm. but to actually really exercise. I mean, not get to the point that you can't breathe and you're dying. <laughs> you know. Yeah, um, don't do that. I'm sorry, exercise and I do not get along. <laughs> but you want it enough that your heart rate's up, that mm-hmm. you're you're actually getting um, that physical cardio <laughs> exercise, and that helps you think differently. Mm-hmm. Interesting. And that Definitely sometimes does. is enough to clear the head and move mm-hmm. you into the direction you need to go. Mm-hmm. So I don't, I mean, I can't prove the science of it, but... <laughs> right. um, some article I read was talking about getting over writer's block, and they talked mm-hmm. about it. And, hmm. Yeah, interesting. Cool. All right. Well, that is a um, little bit of discussion on plotting pantser or planser. If you are a writer and you care to share with us, put in the comments um, which style you use and uh, why. Uh, that would be yeah, interesting that would be to know, too. Yeah. Um, see if it's a personality thing or if it's just you've been told this is how you need to do it and so that's how you do it. We want to hear these kind of things from you. And we could also use your UN20 videos. So if you have those, send them to the email address included in the description of this video. And be sure and click subscribe to our videos. That way you don't miss any of them. They'll come, uh, notifications will come right to you. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.